Okay, hear me out. Practicum might be the funnest gun in the game right now. And I really don't say that lightly, this thing is amazing. If you don't know what it does already, let me show you. First and foremost, it's a shotgun in the heavy slot, so finders and scavengers, very important. Secondly, instead of firing bullets, it fires like an AoE cone forward that can over-penetrate targets, and basically it just hits everything on the cone. And also, anything that you hit with that blast not only gets pushed back, but also gets suppressed, meaning they're blinded and can't use their abilities, and also weakens them to 30%, which is like, quite a bit of stuff <laughs> and then not only that but when you hit an enemy you get a speed boost and handling boost didn't even know it's handling for like six seconds and it's quite a significant speed boost yeah this thing does a lot also its catalyst increases its magazine size uh, it says it increases ammo reserve, but I'm not actually sure, but, you know, it could. Yeah, stupidly fun already. It's already, like, yeah, just such a great gun. But as soon as I started using it, there was two things I immediately fought. Firstly, energy vampirism. Every time you suppress a target, you gain energy for your least target ability. Let me just, uh, add that one on. But that's not me ham for it. This... This is the thing that turns it into the funnest gun in the game. Echo of Demiring. After suppressing a target, not only is your weapon auto-reloaded for you, and just take that one on as well. But also, you get a mobility boost, meaning you get two speed boosts from it. And my god, is that just so fun. The sheer speed you travel at. Even fighter jets can't catch up with you. It's it's insane. And you get to end this one. That's nice. Yeah, after that, you know, I had to make a build. Obviously, this is too good. But firstly, the other two artifacts, or aspects even, this is a warlock build. But anyway, Chaos Accelerant for your charge grenades, and Feed the Void for Devour. Oh, by the way, Devour, after proccing it, not only means you get health after a kill with Tractor Cannon, but also you get grenade energy. So, you know, just put those two back on it as well. I'm gonna pair that with Action Bolt, because it's the lowest cooldown, and then with the rest of the fragments, gonna go Echo of Reprisal, and Echo of Instability. Reprisal means we're gonna get more super energy, and Instability means our grenade kills are gonna give our Void Weapons Volatile Rounds. Uh, by the way, Volatile <laughs> now, not only do you get all of the above, but also, Tractor Cannon puts Volatile on enemies, meaning they explode. It gives a Firefly. So it has like, Demo, Wellspring, Firefly, Suppression, Weaken, Speed Boost, Speed Boost again, Auto Loading. Oh, and it pushes back enemies. <laughs> what the fuck? This is, it's like, this is amazing already. Then we're gonna pair that with uh, fuck. Controverse Hold, uh, so we can get our grenade back really, really quickly. And for the mods, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do two elemental ordinances and a battle for wells. This means when we get a kill with our grenade, we get three void wells to spawn. And then we're gonna pair that with Font of Might, so we get damage to all of our void weapons. And then we're gonna pair that with Seeking Wells. Now, Seeking Wells, I know a lot of people think very well of this mod. Pun was definitely intended there. But, like, for most builds, I put it on because I'm lazy. For this build, I put it on because you are really fast, and you're not slowing down to pick up any wells, so I would highly recommend it. And yes, if you're wondering, this is basically a grenade build, meaning we're gonna want a lot of discipline. Uh, but then for the final mod you want, I'd recommend, firstly, Scavenger uh, and Reserve. Both of them are very good, but also, you want Harmonic Synthesizer so you can generate orbs with void weapons, and then this, whatever the hell that is, I can't read that. But it's going to give you more grenade energy, which is always very nice. And then finally, because this is a heavy weapon, I mean, you can't use it all the time, so you're going to want to stick it with a Void Special. Any Void Special will do if you have one with Wellspring or Demo, even better though. And you can also pair this with Double Special, so you get more heavy ammo, but you won't get as much Special, so it's your choice. But that's the build. Yes, again, it is basically just a grenade build, but you gotta remember, it is a heavy weapon, so you don't have infinite ammo, but still, this thing is damn fun, like, way too fun. And one final thing, put an Ashes to Ashes, and now you have a super build, so, yeah. You have a tractor cannon build, a super build, and a grenade build, all in one. Also, the tractor cannon does about, like, 11 single things in one bullet. That's it, have fun watching the gameplay, see ya. All on raiding party ahead. You don't seem thrilled about Nobota's presence. Well, they won't appreciate you once either. I'm so good at the game around. Oh, 
not getting the chaining that I was before. Kind of a bit sad because it was insane before. That's pretty strong. You devour. You devour plus. Uh, thingy. Let's see how quick this is. Bonk. Do that. So. Mm -hmm. You insane. I'm reading dense hive signatures in a facility up in there. Fifteen twenty nightfall. So he just accidentally took all of his health wearing damage. It wasn't my fault.